welcome to NomCast, where we take a deep dive into your food and splash around to see what we can find. I'm your host, Alice Saslavsky, and today we're squishing and squashing through the world of berries. Before we get started, I want to ask everyone to check if their brains are switched on and fully charged, because there'll be a quiz at the end. Okay, let's go. Welcome to the Fruit Box. On today's show, we're doing something a little different. You see her every day, and now we're putting her in the spotlight. It's Barry! Barry. Um, I thought we weren't going to... Barry, this is your life. Barry is a big family. They're the ones you see when you visit the supermarket, like strawberries, raspberries and blueberries. Then there are the cousins you might not know yet. Loganberries, boysenberries, caneberries and even cloudberries. Some are small, so you can pop a whole bunch in your mouth to explode at once. Others, like the Bedford giant blackberry, are huge and come from plants covered in spiny, spiky thorns. And you can find berries in all kinds of colours, like black, red and blue, purple, white and yellow. People and animals have been munching on berries since prehistoric times. Fossils of flowering plants with ancient fleshy fruits, like these, appeared about 66 million years ago. Once humans arrived, we grabbed these flavour sensations. Early hunter-gatherers ate them even before farming existed. Ancient Greeks were the first to cultivate raspberries and the ancient Romans thought they had medicinal properties. In Australia, we have heaps of native types, including gooseberries, snowberries and white elderberries. Indigenous peoples have been eating and cooking with them for thousands of years. But there's something you might not realise about berries. Lots of them aren't berries at all. Oh. As, As we, we celebrate, celebrate berry, berry today, today, I'm excited, I'm excited to, introduce to introduce a special, special guest, guest to our, to our couch. couch. My, My friend, friend and, yours, and yours, Perry. Perry. But, but uh, you're, you're a, a banana. banana. That's, That's right, right, John. John. Perry, Perry, like, like all, bananas, all bananas, has, has seeds, seeds and pulp, and pulp also, also called, called pericarp, pericarp. And, and he developed, he developed from, a from a flower with one, with one ovary, ovary which, which makes Perry, Perry a, a berry. berry. Just, Just like, like grapes, grapes, tomatoes, tomatoes avocados, avocados, eggplants, eggplants and, kiwi and kiwi fruits. fruits. Actually, Actually John, John, even, even watermelons, watermelons are technically, are technically berries. berries. <gasps> a blueberry is a berry. But a raspberry isn't. And strawberries aren't berries. And blackberries aren't berries. So what are they? You probably think of them as a delicious explosion of juicy flavour, which is true. But did you also know that some of them are kind of like a tiny city? Sounds weird. Just stay with me. Raspberries and others are actually made up of tiny replicas, like clones. Instead of just being a single fruit, they're what's called an aggregate fruit, which is a whole lot of miniature, tasty, juicy bombs stuck together like apartments or best friends. Lots of the quote unquote berries we know and love are in fact a whole bunch of juicy blobs that never go anywhere alone. Not even to the toilet. <laughs> So eating one raspberry is like eating dozens of teeny tiny fruits. Bam, bam, pop, squish, yum! Unlike most fruits, each of these delicious globes of flavour contains a seed. That seed can become a whole new plant. And those plants grow their own aggregate fruits, little bags of juice with their own seeds, and they become plants and, well, you know how this works. The juice blobs are called druplets. A raspberry can be made up of as many as 125 druplets held together by microscopic hairs. Each little segment is a complete stone fruit, a whole fruit, self-contained, and we get to smash them all in one go. 
Just to make it even more complicated, a mulberry, which is also not a berry, is a collective fruit. Its druplets are formed by multiple different flowers. That's also how we get pineapples. Um, it's just a bit of a shock, you know? I thought I knew who I was. Every day I said to myself, you're a berry, you can achieve anything. If I'm not a berry, who am I? Not now, Drooplets. I'm trying to find myself. But of course, a simple case of mistaken identity doesn't make us love berries any less. They're full of antioxidants like anthocyanins, elagic acid and resveratrol. And a good source of fibre. Some, like strawberries, are high in vitamin C and they all contain vitamins and minerals our bodies love. Berries become sticky, oozy jam on our toast in the morning. We bake them with spices like cinnamon and nutmeg to make comforting winter desserts. They're the star of the show on a summer pavlova or in a salad. We freeze them and turn them into luscious smoothies or mix them with yoghurt for a burst of crunch and sweetness. They're even used to make natural food colouring and heated to extract dyes to colour fabrics. So it doesn't matter whether they're true berries or aggregate fruits running around with all their friends. Berries are a tasty, bite-sized nugget of goodness we can enjoy every day. I'm here for the right reasons. I wanted to learn more about who I am and I've done that. It doesn't matter that I'm not a berry. I'm still berry. And I'm literally surrounded by friends and family who understand what it's like to be me. That's even better. All right, all right, quiz time. Quiz time. Question, Question one. one. What are the juicy blobs that make up raspberries and other fruits called? Question two. True or false? A grape is actually a berry. Question three. What is an example of a compound fruit? Question four. How far back can we find evidence of berries? Question five. Which of the berry names we mentioned is a real berry? Question six. How many droplets can a raspberry have? Time, to Time the for the answers. Answer, Answer one. one. The juicy blobs that make up raspberries and other fruits are called druplets. Answer two. A grape is actually a berry, that's true. Answer three. Mulberry or pineapple are examples of compound fruits. Answer four. We can find evidence of berries from 66 million years ago. Answer five. A blueberry is a real berry. Answer six, a raspberry can have up to 125 druplets. That's all we have time for. Until next time. This podcast has been funded by Hort Innovation using the avocado, citrus, melon and raspberry and blackberry research and development levies and funds from the Australian government. For more information, visit horticulture.com.au.